All right, hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome to Knighton Plus. Uh, it's, I'm not actually sure about that title. I'm not sure why there's a plus. I know there's a version called Knighton on itch.io, which might have been the original version of this game, and the plus is kind of like the full version. I, I don't really know. Either way, uh, this is the first game I think I've ever seen with it, just a built-in speed setting in the options. I should probably look at like Celeste and stuff. They probably have it too. But, anyway, I was kind of taken aback when I was looking at the options for this. Anyway, so... Once upon a time, in a distant kingdom far, far away. Well... You're not here to read this crap, am I right? But you want to hear a story anyway? Alright, here you go. In a quite generic fairy tale kingdom, there was a brave knight known as Sir Ludalot. His courage and virtues were as legendary as his lust for, obviously, loot and fame. And, of course, the dungeons full of danger and treasures. And are very conveniently scattered throughout the realm. You see where this is going? Onwards to glory! Chop chop! Screen may be frozen. So it is! Let me try and fix that. Sometimes these games don't capture what right. That is- there we go! Now you guys are at least on with me. You saw nothing, it was just narration. Uh, let's get back to the game. That's weird, so we've got a handful of dungeons to crawl, so let's just go with these. Sorry about that, I didn't even notice. But this is the actual gameplay, and this is why we do the indie game lightning round. To see which games are good, which games are interesting, which games are... I mean, vaguely fun. Sharp. A super sharp sword. Swing it towards your foe. Haven't won yet? Repeat previous step. Well, it's cute. Let's see. Okay, so it's X to, X to swing. Also, right trigger to swing. Get some amount of... Wow, there's a lot of items up there. Sure, why not? Yeah, Houston, we've got visual. Anyway, so if it's not obvious what this game is, it's, it's very much like an homage to OG, like, Legend of Zelda games. Uh... Probably linked to the past very specifically. Uh, plus, I'm assuming tongue-in-cheek cheek dialogue and story the whole way through. Pretty sure I can't get through that, so, yeah. Anyway, uh, let's see. But, I'm not even sure what the, the overall, like, items in this game are going to be. It's probably going to be some, like, interesting twists based on the old styles. But who knows? Oh, I'm just gonna follow this guy around for a while and never actually get him. There we go. I never- I never really played a whole lot of these games. I have a half-recorded series. Eesh. I have a half-recorded series on, uh, on a Link to the Past randomizer, and that's the extent of what I've done. I should get back to that at some point, but still. Oh. I? Okay, so I've got 38 coins. Well, I can't afford anything anyway, so I guess let's leave that for later. We'll probably want to buy that key more than anything else. And let's try and avoid getting killed. So yeah, lightning round today. Yeah, if I can. Uh, we'll see how many I get through. So, basic rules for the indie game lightning round. I play a game for as long as it's fun. Uh, if it's moderately good, I might play a little bit more than like an episode's worth for YouTube. Uh, if it's really good, I'll play a whole bunch. I think the last lightning round, I, I loaded up Mindustry, and it pretty much just destroyed the lightning round for the week. Which is fine, because, I mean, that's kind of the point of the lightning round. Play it until I find something that's actually worth playing, and then just play that for a while, and kind of move on. I feel like I've done something wrong here. There, there's no, uh, hmm. Maybe it's, it's probably this pattern, now that I'm thinking about it. Nope. Okay. It's definitely a puzzle. I'm just immediately lost. Because we have world map.
I'm just trying to see if there's a visual clue. Because we very clearly got... We very clearly have eight things that I need to press. But I don't see... Anything else. There's the tutorial information here. Yeah, keep your eyes peeled for si Oh, you do take damage touching the sides of those. That's annoying. Yeah, so I could buy a health globe. I want to get that key, because we need the key to get to the next thing. Uh... God. I... I'm straight up losing the tutorial, aren't I? I... We were just gonna chuck game journal journalists straight at this one and just hope for the best. Because, yeah, that door is locked. Oh, here we go. Uh, so we want to have diagonals towards the middle. Yeah, pay attention to the patterns on the floor. They might actually mean something in this game. Okay, so I want to change something around a little bit. That's better. I try not to... I try not to cuphead journalist my way through things. But sometimes... Sometimes it just happens. There we go. Oh, well, there's the key that I wanted to buy. I might still want to stock up on several, but still. Let's see, the music is faster now. That's cool. I'm fine with that. Ugh. Uh, unrelated-ish, but we made chicken stroganoff for, for lunch earlier today. And... The main ingredients for stroganoff are noodles, mushrooms, onions, and some kind of meat. Usually you want to go with beef, because beef is probably the best. Oh, I've forgotten the button to attack. Ah! I'm liking this speed a lot better than what we were dealing with originally. Okay. Well, there's a single head there. Unless, of course, I'm supposed to, like, kill this thing? No. Maybe I bomb it. We'll have to see. Anyway, so... Uh, you have a meat, you have onions, you have mushrooms. You have, uh... I mean, really, the thing that matters is the onions. I was cutting the meat. And Shell was cutting the, uh... I, I cut the meat and the, the mushrooms, and Shell cut the onions. Problem is, I actually... I don't know if it's an allergy or an intolerance or something, but I absolutely cannot be in the same room as as somebody cutting onions, because it actually just, like, wrecks my eyes for a day. And so, like, I'm finding myself blinking here rapidly just to keep, uh, keep my vision going. And I wasn't really expecting that... I was just like, yeah, this will be fine. Like, my eyes have recovered since, and the answer is, nope. <laughs> also, we get, uh, we can actually revive enemies by walking in and out of a floor. That'll be good for money farming. I'm not sure if we really need to, but still. Let's see. So that's the way we came from, I think. Okay, and we have a key for that door. It looks like it's a good idea. Oh, that's the face. Or maybe that face is always there. Anyway, shield of protection. Place it in front of anything dangerous. It's simple, really? Okay, so that's left trigger. Okay, so I can block now. That's still danger. What? Ah. I thought it was safe. It was not. At least the mushrooms are chumps. Okay, don't need to worry about too much. Oh, and my health is full. I thought I took more damage than that. Son of a butt! It happened again! Alright, now we gotta go look for... Now we gotta go look for another floor pattern. I don't remember seeing one on this floor. Also, thank you, Wildemar Kid, for the 100 bits, and Verisoc for the 500 bits. Eh. Thank you both so much. Eh.
I'm wondering what other items there are. It looks like there's eight total. Because, yeah, we've got that shiny face on the floor. We have this, but that's... I think we might have to go up and down. Because, yeah, all of these have a shiny face. Oh. Hold on. This one has a face. This one has a face. This one does not have a face. So we might have to memorize of all of the rooms on this floor, which ones have faces. I am floored that I didn't get hit there. Okay, so it's the bottom left too. If you guys want to help me remember this. And then the it might just be the bottom left or the bottom right. And so let's see, two five nine. Two three five nine. Okay, so this should be this should be doable. So it's probably these. This is clever. I like that. Oh! Big red potion improves health. No side effects, no. So we actually want to buy the other one of those when we have the money for it. Because that'll... That, I mean, that will have a notable effect on... My life. My life total. I'm not sure if each of these dungeons is... Like... If they, uh... How do I say? If they interconnect? Because there, there's the world map. But I, I wonder if each, like, dungeon run is its own separate thing. Be interesting to know, because usually with these games we have, like, a... We have a distinct overworld. To, like, wander around and explore. But this one you just go into each dungeon. What is that? Oh, that's just a eyeball. Hello. There we go. That's easy. Okay. Yeah, 100, 125 or 125% speed absolutely is the right way to go about this. With Moonlighter, enemies can be a little bit, like, zippy. For this, it's just like, ah, it's fine. Okay, so that'll bring me up further. I, I'm really curious how long these dungeons are, too. If I check in the world map, no, I don't want to quit to the world map. That's a bad idea. Let's not do that. So this is a Zelda-esque roguelike? I'm not sure yet if it has roguelike elements. I haven't died yet, so... Okay, well, we haven't gone this way. That's 150. Might as well buy that. Don't know if that's the only one of its kind. In retrospect, I might have needed, uh, needed that key. Yeah, because I don't have a key and I'm too poor. Uh, well, we do have a floor going up, so we'll work with this. The gold follows you to the next room if you don't pick it up. Huh. Okay, and we're trapped if we try and go to the right, because we're, we're blocked in. So I guess let's just go up a floor. Oh, we're back on 1-2. Or, well, there's the key that we were looking for. I think that was it. I don't remember there being anything else here. Okay. I gotta be mildly careful. Luckily, my shield more or less guards against those guys. Okay. Note to self, I was not quite fast enough. Well, I guess I don't need a note to self. What? What is with this guy's dodging? 
That was impressive and cheatsy. Okay. Let's get through. I'm curious how many floors we've got before we're... How many floors we've got before the boss. A dungeon map would be appreciated. M maybe. I... I don't know. I am appreciating the level design here. Uh, normally when I normally when I'm playing like Zelda likes and, and whatnot. Well, I totally forgot about those things. Well, hi, that worked out. In order, normally when I play the Zelda likes, I'm not super interested in the gameplay because I find it can be it can feel a little stale after a while. But I've always been a fan of like old school Zelda style level design. Uh, I've even to the point of emulating in a number of my. Uh, emulating a number of my, like, Dungeons & Dragons campaigns. Oh, I see. If I shield bash them, they're temporarily invincible. To my sword swings. Well, that's mean. Ring of Speed allows you to dash because walking is slow and boring. Oh, so it's, it's like the charge dash. Well, that's nice. That's really nice. Well, now I can get around warp speed. Unfortunately, I need another key to get get that. So let's go. Let's go shopping because I don't. I don't think there's any other keys available, and I should start purchasing them. Wow, this is this is actually kind of nice. It's like uh, it's like Link to the Past, but on like, well, on warp speed. Because usually in like a in Link to the Past or Link's Awakening or whatever, you get one, maybe two items. Quag, almost a dragon. Frag. Ow. Okay, it seems like charging him is the right way to go. Maybe. It seems like charging him is the right way to go. Because everything else is just dangerous. Whereas charging him pushes him back. Question. Can I block these? Yes, I can. Ow. I do not know how much HP he has. Well, I'm dead. Let's try that again. Well, that's convenient. And the map is at the top of the screen. Sort of. But it's it's not like the dungeon map that... Uh, if you get it all... Wow, that's kind of annoying. He's got a bigger hitbox, I think, than his own... His own model. I could be wrong. Either way, charge only. I'm not going to try and get multiple hits in on him. Because, yeah, contact damage is stupid. I've never liked contact damage in a video game. There we go. Got him. Pwog! The crown made of pure gold rolled to the knight's feet. My job here is done, Sir Ludolot explained. Er, explained, exclaimed, while stashing a trophy into his trustworthy inventory. But that's how the infamous almost a dragon met its end. Okay, so did I get, get everything? No! I actually apparently missed an item in here. Well, that bites. Well, let's take a look at the ancient pyramid. I think I've got a vague idea of how this game goes, and realistically, I probably don't want to spend too much time on this. I mean, realistically, I could probably beat this game in within like an hour or three. 
I'm assuming I have to go over, but I'm gonna try and... Yeah, okay, so you can't... I've got to take this semi-seriously, if it matters. What I should probably do is block and then... Yeah, got it. Understandable. I wonder if there was a... It could have been an item from the shop. It was probably that amulet. Now that I'm thinking about it. But we gotta go farm a bunch of money. To be able to afford anything. Well, still. Yeah, you're doing a run of Zelda, but only the dungeons. It's a nice way of simplifying things down. Okay, so I can go through that. Doesn't look like a... Oh, R. I'm pretty sure I need an item to get through that. Maybe. These things are just annoying. They're just there. But yeah, I like the idea of, of Zelda, but with just the dungeons. I was actually really enjoying Cadence of Hyrule back when Shell and I did our... Oh, push the blocks under the light. You know, that actually probably makes sense. Ow. Eh, whatever. Let's see. Ow. Ow. I might die this way. But that's fine. Uh, this is the indie game lightning round. What I should probably do is switch games at this point. Let's go see if I can solve that one... Uh, let's see if I can go solve that one puzzle over here. Because I don't think I can push blocks yet. <sighs> Maneuvering past those things is not easy. Oh. No. I assume I need, uh, I need the, the Titan's gloves or whatever to actually be able to do that. So we go, if we go back to the world map, we still have our game, we still have all of our stuff, we've beaten the boss, and I probably have to go farm for that amulet that I need. So, actually, it wouldn't take too long to beat this game, maybe an hour and a half. Uh, might be something to, uh, to look at. I'll list this as an episode one on YouTube, and if people like it, I'll come back for, for an episode two and three and probably four and then beat the game. Uh, and maybe, maybe grab everything, we'll see. But for now, this is a fun little quick look, and I certainly enjoy the game. I think mainly just because it relies really hard on the um, Legend of Zelda formula, but in a very, like, condensed down and satisfying manner. You know, you get multiple items per per, pyra uh, per pyramid, per dungeon. Uh, you can pick them up, you, uh, solve a couple of puzzles, fight a boss that's kind of unique, and then move on. It's very short, it's very sweet, it's very satisfying. It doesn't really do much that's, like, new that I've seen so far, but sometimes, you know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Just remix it as kind of your own thing and then just release it for cheaper on Steam. Uh, and it's a good filler while we wait for Link's Awakening, uh, the really, really fancy version that's coming out on the Switch. I'm looking forward to it. So, I guess with that, thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys next time.